Okay, so what have we got going on here, Ms. Bianca? What? <laughs> You're on the control panel? Yeah. Okay, so we've got some image receptors set up around the room. We've got our patient positioned. What are we doing with this patient? Is this going to be a, a supine abdomen? Okay, so we're pretending like we're shooting a supine abdomen sans any kind of collimation efforts. And so we've got image receptors set up. This one appears to be eight feet away from the patient. Uh, we've got some more in the corner. We've got this one behind the lamp. Okay, excellent. All right, so we've got a we've got a technologist here wearing a lead shield. All right, and it's like in there. Oh, that's real good. I like it. All right, fantastic. And we can do it. We can do it with the shield and without the shield, and compare both ones. And has that thing got, yeah, that's got a marker on it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Fantastic. The name of the experiment is Shielding on Portable X-rays. All right, since your camera shy, step us through these images. Oh, um, <laughs> over there. Okay, so this one was at 15 feet, and Mr. Canny, what's up with that? You used an elbow phantom to prop this thing up so that we could, so it wouldn't fall over. Okay, so at 15 feet away from the patient, there was this much scatter radiation enough to make kind of a grainy looking elbow x-ray. All right, take us to the next image. Um, I can't see. How many feet away from the patient was this? Oh, okay, there it is in the corner. Okay, so at 13 feet away from the patient, we had an exposure index of 73. So even though we're back a good distance, and can we get 13 feet away from the patient in the, uh, ex in, like in somebody's room if we're doing portables? Probably not. Probably not. You know, some of these rooms are pretty small. Okay, so take us to the next image. Okay, how many feet away was this one? Okay, so we're getting a little closer and we see that we've got an exposure index of 136. Okay, so getting a little hotter as we get closer to the patient. Okay, bring up the next one. Okay, this was five feet from the patient and this is really dark. Okay, so that's a lot of exposure. So just standing five feet back from the patient, you know, that's going to save you some dose but not a whole lot so don't get that close to the patient EI of 232. oh thank you i couldn't read that <laughs> oh i can if i look over top of my glasses all right bring up the next one oh okay well this is interesting this is the one that was okay so we had a skeleton with an apron on and with this image receptor and this thing was six feet back from the patients from the iso center okay so if you're in the room and you're standing back from the patient, still a good idea to put on your lead? Yeah, big time. Because if we were just going to shoot one x-ray and then split, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But we're sticking around. We're shooting like, you know, maybe 15, 20 x-rays over the course of a day. And it adds up. Exposure is always cumulative. So this didn't eliminate all the exposure, but it cut it way down. So we got an exposure index here of four, but we had a range of only six feet. So that's significant. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring up the next image. Okay, this was at four feet away from the patient at a 90 degree angle from the patient's abdomen. And is that significant exposure? Absolutely. So four feet away from the patient is not enough. So don't get too close to the patient and always be sure to wear your lid. All right, so if we've seen, as we've seen from our experimentation, distance from the patient, very important. Wearing a shield, also very important. So get back as far as you can from your patient when you're doing portable x-rays and make sure you're wearing lead at all times. You wanna protect yourself as best you can. Short time, long distance, thick shielding. That's going to help you protect yourself. And that turns out to be very important in x-ray. All right, so 
Thanks once again for joining us today on X-Ray Education. And get out there, uh, shoot some X-rays, be safe while you're doing it, and we'll catch you here again for more exciting information. All right, take care, have a great weekend.